everybody welcome back to vlogmas happy day number five today's video is going to be a holiday book recommendation video i feel like i said that out of order but we're going to be talking about all of the holiday books that i recommend you read this um season we're gonna start with books i've already read um that way you guys can get my full thoughts on them it's gonna be a pretty quick video so i'm just gonna kind of run through the list while um giving a general rating for each book my favorite holiday author by far is emily stone i don't know what it is that she does in her book what i really enjoy in her books is how she ties in emotional topics and ideas into a cute holiday romance so it's it, it has an emotional depth to it that I think a lot of other holiday romances lack and that's definitely not a bad thing because I love reading a feel-good holiday romance and just that that just gets me into the holiday spirit but something about Emily Stone it's not just a holiday slash like winter season book it's a book that's going to talk about grief losing a parent losing a partner etc etc and so I just love her and so I 100% read all of her books have her newest book on my TBR um, but the two that I've already read is Always in December and then The Last Gift. And like I said, both of those are so good. I would probably look up, like, the content warnings for it just because, you know, like I said, it, it handles a lot more than your typical holiday romance. Um, but yeah, I, I think I rated both of those four stars and I just love them so much and they're so fun and I definitely recommend. They're not, they're fun, but they're also, like, be prepared, I guess is what I should say. The next book that I've already read is actually two books by Ginny Bayless. I do like Bayless a lot. Um, these books I think I rated both three stars. I'm pretty sure that's kind of the general rating for a lot of Christmas novels for me. And the first one was Under the Mistletoe and this came out I believe last year. I think I rated this maybe two or two to three stars I believe that Under the Mistletoe was a little lower of a rating than her um the first book I read by her, the first holiday book, which was The Twelve Days of Christmas, which I thought was pretty fun to read. I read it for a book club years ago. I think I might have been a freshman in college or maybe a senior in high school. I'm not, I can't remember how long ago it was, but I know that was like the first Christmas book I ever read, so it kind of holds a special place in my heart. But yeah, I definitely recommend both of those. Like I said, it's, it's around a three-star rating, which is not a bad rating. It's just like, it's just a Christmas romance, and who doesn't love that? I, I guess maybe some people, but I liked it. Next one I have on here is Just Like Magic by Sarah Hogel. Sarah Hogel is author of You Deserve Each Other, which I 100% loved. You should read it if you haven't already. Just Like Magic is about a main character. It's She's a female main character, and she kind of loses the holiday spirit, and there's a holiday spirit that is there to bring it back. And that's all I'm going to say about it. I believe I rated it, again, three stars. I really liked, I really liked the male, um, protagonist or the male love interest, I guess, in this novel. And yeah, I loved it. So you guys should read it. This one I've already read and this one is so good. I think, I think I rated this one five stars, which might be the highest rating I've ever had for a holiday or Christmas romance novel. And that's a Very Merry Bro Bromance by Lissa K. Adams and so if you guys haven't read any of the series it's so good you do not have to read them in order it's just kind of one of those book series that contains characters um, from previous novels and so A Very Merry Christmas it was published last fall and is the newest book in the series but I read this before finishing the entire series I think I had read the first and second book and then I read the fifth book and again like I'm like I said, it doesn't hinder your reading. It doesn't hinder your reading experience at all. I 100% recommend it. I always love these books. The, Brom the Bromance Book Club is honestly one of my favorite series and I will never like get off of the hill. You should definitely read them. I have is One Day in December by Josie Silver. If I'm being honest, I read this one a few years ago and I don't remember it as well. I either rated it three or four stars. I know Josie Silver is a phenomenal author. I love her so much. I'm pretty sure One Day in December was a sadder type of novel, kind of re reminiscent of Emily Stone. Um, and again, this is I'm re trying to remember this so if you really care, you should look at my Goodreads um, review. But yeah, the next one I have is Love Light Farms by B.K. Borison. And that, this I read last year. This is part of, um, 
I, get, I think it's called the Love Light Farm Universe or something like that. But this is about a woman who owns a Christmas tree farm, which I think is so adorable. And she's basically trying to just save her farm and she falls in love with her best friend after fake dating. And that's not a spoiler, I don't think. Ooh. I don't think that's a spoiler. That's kind of, you kind of get that from the back. But anyway, I love that one. Definitely recommend it. And yeah, one of the books that I've already read, I definitely read more Christmas slash holiday novels. I read a lot last year. Um, but these are just some of the ones that I could remember. I wanted to give, I think I'm giving you guys about 12 to 13 books. Um, so I wanted to keep the, the list pretty short. But now we're, we're going to talk about the books that I would like to read this holiday season. The first, um, or the first three I actually have physical copies of. And of course on the top of the list we have Love Holly by Emily Stone. Like I said, she's my favorite holiday romance um, author. And so I'm so excited for this. I'm not going to read the back because I want to be, you know, surprised. But I know it's probably going to uh, pull at the heartstrings. But I love the cover, it's so pretty. I will say this cover's a little bit different than the other ones. It has a glossy material, which I don't know if I love or hate it. I don't know. The second book I have in physical um, copy is Wreck the Halls by Tessa Bailey. We love Tessa Bailey here. Um, I actually don't know when this was written. This could be like super new or old. I have, well, I kind of feel like it's newer because in, in this back here, it says keep an eye out for the first book in Tessa's new series, uh, Spring 2024, which I feel like if it was an older book, they wouldn't update and publish. I don't know. Anyways, again, I don't know what this is about. I'm not going to read anything about it because I want to be surprised. Last physical book I have um, is a book by Lucy Score, and I'm pretty sure this is like from 2017. She wrote this a while ago, but I knew who this author was, and when I saw it in Dylan's, I was like, I'm just going to pick it up. And that's The Christmas Fix. Again, I have no idea what any of these books are about, but they're holiday romances, which, you know, we're going to love them. And they're cute. So. Two other ones that I would like to read is The Mistletoe Motive by Chloe Lise. I think that's how you pronounce it. I know this got pretty popular either last year or the year before. I'm not quite sure. But the cover looks cute. I'm sure it's good. Definitely want to read that one. As well as Winter in New York by Josie Silver. I, again, I've read a couple books by Josie Silver now. I know she's really good. One Day in December is good. And so Winter in New York by her, I'm sure is pretty good. And so definitely want to read that one. And I think that might be the last of this video or the last of the list, I believe. I think I had 13 books. I'm pretty sure you guys can count for me. But yeah, these are all the holiday books I recommend, have read, and want to read. Let me know if there's any other ones. I'm actually thinking of one, The Holiday Romance. I forget who it's by, but I know it took the world by storm last year because it reminded a lot of people of... People on Vacation by Emily Henry. So I do actually own that one already because I think I bought it for a dollar on Apple Books last year after the holiday season passed. But yeah, I think that's all the books I want to read. Let me know what you guys are reading, if there's any I missed, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Peace and love. Bye guys.